嗯，没开。I'm in Boston right now, but I'm flying to Shanghai tomorrow because I think it's way safer in China right now um, because how people are just being more cautious. In like 10, 20 minutes, I'm gonna take a lift to uh, Newark Airport. I'm gonna stay there at a hotel for a night and tomorrow morning I'm flying to Singapore and then I'm gonna fly to uh, from Singapore to Shanghai. I'm actually checking out like three days earlier. Okay. He's almost here. Hopefully he doesn't cancel. I'm, I'm going quite far, you know that, right? Uh -huh. New York. You go to New York? Yeah. He's fine? Thank you. Bathroom stop. Have a safe trip, okay? Thank you. Thank you. A Z-H-A-O. Uh, can I get a the new Walker cop salad? Uh, I'll get a French onion, please. All right, cool. Th yeah, thank you. Um, the hotel's only serving like those two go style because of the coronavirus. Mm, it's not bad. Better than the French onion from my school. I get to the airport around two hours earlier for an international flight or even an hour half if it's an airport I know really well but for situations like today Singapore Airlines uh, Singapore? Downstairs? I think it's checking ticketing There were three it's Upstairs I wonder why I couldn't find it because I was too early They still haven't set up the thing yet until just now so it to a new mask because I used one for a while. Lunch looks nice. We're currently at the launch. Uh, this is not the Singapore Singapore Airlines launch. It's they use um, the Virgin Atlantic's launch. So I don't know why if it's coronavirus or what, but they don't have any foods right now. They only have a sandwich and water. I don't know if it's usually like this, but I think it's because of the virus thing. So it's understandable some surgical masks in case I need them on the plane because it's really hard to breathe through this. It's harder. Do you have any toothbrush? Yeah. Can I have one piece? Alright, we're going to board. I just don't want to get sick. There's not a toy tree bag. Um, all the toothbrush, razors, stuff like that are in the, uh, the bathroom. Singapore with the humidity you feel after you 
come off the plane. So the Singapore airline launch, I couldn't access it because they need my second boarding pass, which I haven't gotten yet. And um, the tra transit hotel is full. So I found this launch, which I can, I got a massage and I was able to take a shower. It's actually quite a long walk to Terminal 4 for where, where my second flight is. Thank you. Oh, 嗯, that's pretty much the story um, of what happened at the airport after I arrived. So uh, let me tell you the story um, after I left the airport. I was sent to a hotel. Um, they told me to wait to get my swab test done. The waiting time varies a lot. I have friends who waited for four hours. And let me tell you this first. So the city of Shanghai is divided by a river. On the east side is east side is called Pudong, and on the west side is called Puxi. And Pudong is like a large district and Puxi is divided by like 10, 15 districts. And I saw an article, I believe that was published by the Shanghai government. So there are 13,000 people currently under quarantine in Shanghai and 9,000 of them are in Pudong, which means the hotels and um, the CDC lab are all overloaded. So I actually had to wait for a long time until I can get my test done. So I arrived 4 a.m. March 20th. Hey guys, it's the December, it's not December, it's March 21st. It's the second day after I arrived in Shanghai. It's like 9.30 right now. I fell asleep because I had a little bit of jet lag. But, um, so the CDC people call me many times to do the swab test. Swab test. Um, and, and, um, so now I'm gonna go do it in somewhere else, not at this hotel. So they're gonna pick me up. They call me around 9 p.m. And I did not get to do the test until like 2.30 the second day. And um, I, I, I wasn't really allowed to film over there. So um, I filmed a little bit on my phone, which I don't think you can see really well, but I had a horrible gag reflux when I did it. I got back to my hotel after I did the testing because we can't go home until um, the result comes out and it has to be a negative result, obviously. It's initially, they told me that we um, we have to wait around eight hours to get the result. So that's like, I was thinking like, after I wake up the morning, in the morning, um, I will get the result. But I waited for almost, I don't know, 35 hours, if I did the math correctly, until I get to go home. 3 p.m., March 23rd, finally get to go home. So um, that's it. That's the entire process of, and what happened to me um, after I arrived in Shanghai. Um, at first, I thought the whole thing is going to take around 60 hours until I can get home. But indeed, it's way longer. I think even doubled because I have to stay at the hotel for three nights. 
I wasn't really expecting to stay at a hotel before I came right. home. But to be honest, the the hotel, uh, the experience in the hotel was fine. Um, the food is actually very good, um, considering that we didn't have to pay for it. The only thing is that if you can't eat pork, you're it's really hard for you to live in China because I, I said 70% of the Chinese diet is based on pork. But anyway, um, even though the waiting is quite long and it could be frustrating sometimes, um, the whole process wouldn't be as organized as it is without the efforts that are putting by those healthcare professionals. I remember um, at the airport, um, there was a, a healthcare professional who's trying to calm the girl down because um, the girl has been waiting at the airport for hours and especially at the testing site, um, when we when we did the swab test, we were literally coughing at the at them when um, when we had the gag reflux. So those people are sacrificing themselves um, for the wealth be well being of a whole nation. So really, salute to them. Yeah. But um, anyway, that's the vlog. Um, hopefully you liked it. If you have any questions, just drop it down in the comment section. I'll answer it if I can. Um, other than that, thanks for watching, um, stay safe and healthy, peace.